Ben and Jerry's USA has decided to boycott Israel. Yet their parent company, Unilever, it seems, did not allow them to boycott Israel, but did allow them to boycott Judea and Samaria. Thanks a lot, Unilever. Folks, as you know, social media censorship is growing. The best way to support our video work for Israel is to subscribe to our video newsletter on pulseofisrael.com and to share our videos. If you are already a subscriber, then thank you. First of all, I want to say thank you to Ben and Jerry's. Yes, thank you. Honestly, it was only a matter of time that the most progressive, woke corporation in the United States of America would be influenced by the very Jew-hating winds blowing through the camp of the ideological left and join in the effort to boycott Israel. So this step of theirs to boycott us does not surprise me in the least. But why do I want to thank Ben and Jerry's? Well, because they are helping me wake up more and more people, especially Jews, to the truth about what's going on. First of all, more Jews today are now publicly standing up for Judea and Samaria and understanding the truth about Judea and Samaria, including many left-wing Jews here in Israel who usually would be vocal against Judea and Samaria. That's a huge accomplishment. Second of all, thanks to this decision by Ben and Jerry's, more people are realizing that boycotting Israel, which is really anti-Israelism, anti-Zionism, is really Jew hatred and anti-Semitism. Think of this. Unilever, Ben & Jerry's parent company, operates in northern Cyprus, which is illegally occupied by Turkey. It operates in Syria, which has conducted horrendous human rights abuses against millions of its own citizens. It operates in Crimea, which is illegally occupied by Russia. And it operates in Xinjiang, China, where Uyghur Muslims are being tortured by the Chinese. Yet, Ben and & Jerry's and the whole progressive woke community are celebrating their decision to boycott Israel? Well, singling out Israel, the only Jewish country in the world, while continuing to do business with countries that are under illegal occupation, or actually conducting human rights abuses, well, that's discrimination against the Jews and the Jews alone. And more people, especially Jews, are now recognizing and waking up to this reality. So basically, I'm saying thank you to Ben and Jerry's because their decision highlights how today's fad of social justice, which includes being anti-Israel, is really social injustice, just coached in the language of human rights. So with this new reality, here are a few new flavors that represent the true progressive, woke corporate culture that has taken over Ben and & Jerry's and is out to conquer all of corporate America decision-making regarding Israel. Flavor number one, caving into anti-Semitism. Flavor number two, Palestine is not real fudge. Number three, push the Jews into the sea, salt, and caramel. Number four, self-hating juice. Number five is jihadi coffee toffee. Minty Fada chocolate cookie and anti cement Well, getting serious again. People think this is only about boycotting Israel, while their actual intention that was blocked by their parent company Unilever. No, a decision to boycott Judea and Samaria is about discriminating against Jews and Jews alone. That is out and out Jew hatred. Wake up Jews and start fighting back against this progressive, woke, intersectionality ideology that excludes every Jew. Some naive Jews think that supporting Black Lives Matter or being anti-Israel will save them because they have the good credentials to be accepted by the woke community. But they are wrong. Even the most supportive Jews for this progressive woke social justice culture, including the leaders, will one day be thrown out of that movement for one single reason. They are still Jews. How they don't learn this from history is beyond me. There were plenty of Jews and Jewish leaders of the communist socialists, and yet they were killed and persecuted by the communists and socialists. The Germans with Jewish blood in them, from one grandparent, they were also killed and persecuted by the Nazis. It happens over and over again, yet too many Jews prefer to ignore history and believe they are okay if they just side with the Jew haters, because they're not real Jews. Now let's go to the facts of this decision by the Ben & Jerry Corporation. 
Ben and Jerry themselves, meaning the two people who started the company, they no longer have an ownership or say in the company. They sold their company years ago and it is today wholly owned by Unilever. Ben and Jerry's USA has an independent board that makes corporate decisions, but Ben and Jerry the people are not on the board. Number two, Ben and Jerry's USA made this decision to boycott Judea and Samaria and Israel. Number three, Ben and Jerry's Israel is the only independent licensee in the world and it is not owned by Ben and Jerry's USA. So this is important. Ben and Jerry's USA threw Ben and Jerry's Israel under the bus, in essence destroying the Israeli business a year and a half before the license expires in December 2022. How so? Because all of the ice cream in Israel is produced by the independent Israeli licensee. And many Israelis today are now stopping to buy the ice cream, thinking that it will punish the U.S. company, when in truth, it only hurts the employment of the 400 Israelis, Jews and Arabs, in the independent Israeli company. Number five, Ben & Jerry's USA have been pressuring the Israeli company for years to not sell in Judea and Samaria, yet Ben & Jerry's Israel has consistently refused to that demand. So in the meantime, what can you do in response to this? Well, boycott Ben & Jerry's in America. But if you're in Israel, do not boycott them in Israel. Because again, the Israeli company is independent with 400 Israeli workers, Jews and Arabs, and they were just thrown under the bus by Ben & Jerry's USA. And the Israeli corporation has already said they will continue to sell in Judea and Samaria so long as they have their license until the end of 2022. The best way to punish Ben & Jerry's USA is to boycott them in the USA, but not in Israel. I know that sounds weird and a little incoherent, but that's the reality. So this is absolutely a despicable campaign, which they announced a year and a half before they are actually able to implement it, which in essence harms the jobs of 400 Israeli employees of the Israeli company a year and a half before this would come into effect. And by the way, just so everyone is clear, Judea and Samaria is not occupied and it's not Palestinian. Judea and Samaria is the biblical and ancestral land of Israel, the homeland of the Jewish people since biblical times. So again, I just wanna end by saying thank you to Ben and Jerry's USA. Thank you for helping me wake up more people to the truth about Judea and Samaria being our eternal and ancestral homeland. Thank you for helping me wake up more people to the truth about the anti-Israel agenda is totally Jew hatred. And thank you for helping me wake up more people to realize that the progressive woke left is totally unjust and extremely anti-Jew. Now, with all the negative, it is always important for me to point out the positive. Oh, I wouldn't want to leave you without this great graphic that was created because it's inevitable, everybody. Those who bless Israel will be blessed and those who curse Israel will be cursed. Signing off from the beautiful, eternal and ancestral homeland of the Jewish people in Judea and Samaria. Pulse of Israel, frontline videos from the Holy Land. Support our work by donating today.